Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad, and today I'm at the St. Clair River. Right here, I'm in a general popular location. There's lots of many different ways you can catch walleye from out here. You can cast with jig heads and lawn worms. You can just cast out and have sinkers with crawler harnesses, or you can whip for walleye like I will be doing today. Before I start off fishing, I'm gonna show you guys some general locations where a lot of people love to fish out here, as well as my setup. Lots of people tend to pile up right around there. They actually line up all around this rock wall. As you can see, there's one person over there already. There's one person over there, another over there, another over there. And today, I'll actually be standing way over against that fence line. Now, the reason why I'm gonna be by that fence line right there is because the water flows that way. It'll be really easy to just drop my sinker down right below or catch it a little ways out and let it drop back through the water. Since I don't have a lot of room on that fence line, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna drop my weight down and retrieve in my line. So basically, I'm gonna make sure my line counter is set at zero. I'm gonna throw down that, keep my thumb on the line, and then slowly drop it down. You want it to hit the bottom as soon as possible. That is exactly why we are using two and a half ounce weight. You want it to go right down to the bottom. Once it's on the bottom going downstream, you basically just, I like to keep it right here against my shoulder and just go back, back, and you want to move it every time it hits the bottom, just back and forth motion. So as soon as it hits the bottom, back, slowly drift it back down, then back, slowly drift it back down. Pretty much any F11 Rapala will work. The best one I found is the Vampire Rapala. However, since it's so good, it's mostly out of stock every single place I went to today. So I'll be using the Blood Shad Rapala. Now that I showed you guys exactly where I'll be fishing today and some of the other locations that people like to fish, I'm gonna show you exactly why I'm here today. How big is it, you think? Uh, oh, I'm gonna measure them and then I'm gonna let them go. This guy measures me right there. 30? 30, 31. 30 yeah, lay him down. Yeah, lay him down. Lay him down, pinch his mouth closed, pinch his tail shut. Thanks, Eddie. 31, 31 and a quarter. Oh. Yep. Once I get done with my baseball game, I should have about 25 minutes in the peak time where they love to bite the most. So hopefully I'll get on a few fish. It's 10 o'clock, I'm taking off. You have a good one. Oh, I got one. Take off now? No, but I gotta work tomorrow. I look good uh, tail on that. Watch, I'm gonna get fish after fish now. Oh, yeah, you will. All right, guys, that was four minutes of getting out there whipping. Sadly, I don't have my GoPro today, so maybe I'll come back another day and get some more footage. I'm not sure yet. All right, guys, I just got my first one within four minutes. I'm gonna go back onto the ledge. I don't know if you can really see me that well, but I'm doing the best I can without a GoPro. Nice walleye. Right here. Second one of the day. That's how you can notice the more videos you have, the more tags you have, and the more chances people can see your stuff, and you never know what it is. You skyrocket and your whole channel just escalates. Because you really got to get that one video to pop before you get, you know, watchers and viewers. Because, you know, your own videos will recommend your own videos a lot of the times. So if you have a video that gets, let's just say 10,000 views like mine did, it's like that salmon fishing in the Betsy River. Like the salmon river fishing tips is what skyrocketed my channel. 
I had like t 100, 200 views max on my videos. And then I got like 2,000 in one day from my salmon river fishing tips video. And then it just, it became my, my fish, 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 fish. Pulling drag and the drag's really tight. Oh, it's a decent one. Oh, it's a big one, I think. Sweet. Let's measure that guy. How big do you think he is? I'm gonna keep him. If he's like 36. Wonder what I. What? Yeah. Man, that pole is moving so good over there. Fish. size one. That's probably about the average fish we get here. Better off just setting it down. Yeah. It's probably like what, 32? Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it taught you how to whip for walleye. I also added some bonus films. I added a pre-hunt turkey, which did not go well for turkey hunting. Not a good turkey hunter. Don't know why. Turkeys suck. They're evil. But I also added another trip with BDZ angling that I made about last week. We got into some nice pike, so I decided to add that in. I thought it was bigger for a second. Nope. Yeah, it's 31. Put in the back. Yeah. All right, guys. First fish of the day for me. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, dude, can you come here real quick? It just broke my camera stand. All right, guys. Just got my first fish. Sadly, this thing just broke my camera stand. Yeah, down here hasn't been too hot. I mean, I had some, I had like five or six really good days down here. I caught a baby steel, man. It was like that long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I said that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was lots of those in there. I caught a lot of 12. I caught three that were over 20 something this year. So. Not a lot of, whole lots of going on down here. I'm about to go turkey hunting in a bit. Oh, are you? Yeah, it'll be my first day going out today, so. I'm I hoping I'll get one. I'll turkey hunt. I'd rather fish. Oh, that's it. All right, guys, just got a pike. Ooh, got him bashed up some. Oh yeah, he's definitely a keeper. It's probably like 26, I'm guessing. Right there, guys. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope it taught you how to whip for walleye. I also added some bonus films. I added a pre-hunt turkey, which did not go well for turkey hunting. Not a good turkey hunter. Don't know why. Turkeys suck. They're evil. 
but I also added another trip with BDZ angling that I made about last week. We got into some nice pike, so I decided to add that in. As always, if you like this video, I'd really appreciate you giving a like, comment, and subscribe. Also, fan gear apparel is available if you'd like to purchase some. All the money goes towards making new videos, towards gas, filming equipment, and just new lures to try out for new species. Definitely stay tuned for next week's video. I'll be walleye fishing with crawler harnesses, showing you guys the best colors to get results.